students welcome to can page today i will teach you the formation of image by concave mirror now first case when the object is at infinity Here I will show you image formation by concave mirror. So first I will draw a concave mirror. As it is a concave mirror that means outer surface. This outer surface is silvered. And the inner surface, this surface is reflecting surface. Now the object is at infinity. That means the object is placed far away from the mirror. Now, the center of the spherical mirror is called pole. And we know that concave mirror is a spherical mirror and it is a part of sphere. Now, center of the sphere. Now, center of this sphere is called center of curvature. Suppose this is center of curvature. Now, the line, the imaginary line, which passes through center of curvature and pole, this imaginary line is called principal axis. Now, a ray of light comes from point A, which is parallel, which is parallel to principal axis and falls on the reflecting surface of the mirror. Suppose this is AD. So, a ray of light AD comes from the object and falls on the reflecting surface of the mirror. Now, from this point, it will get reflected and passing through the focus of the mirror. Now, another ray comes from the object AB and falls on the reflecting surface of the mirror. And from this point, it will get reflected in the same direction, in the same path. Now, another ray comes from point B which falls on the surface, inner surface of the concave mirror. This point is denoted by A. Now from this point, it will get reflected and passing through the focus. Now, here the reflected ray meet at a point on the focus. That means, at this point, image is formed and this image is Real image. Image is real image. Because we know that when reflected rays meet at a point, at that time real image is formed. So here reflected ray meet at focus and image is formed at this point. Now the image is real image as well as the image will be inverted. That means, if the object is AB, so image will be B. If the object is AB, image will be B. Now, image will be highly diminished. That means very small in size. Second case, when the object is beyond the center of curvature, now 
Now first we will draw concave mirror. You have to draw this with the help of compass. Now the center of the spherical mirror is called pole. Suppose this is focus and this is center of curvature. And line, a line which passes through center of curvature and pole. This line is called principal axis. This is principal axis. Now, when the object is beyond the center of curvature, this is center of curvature and the object is placed beyond the center of curvature. This is A. Now a ray is now a ray is coming from point A, which is parallel to principal axis, and incident on point D. Now from this point, it will get reflected and passing through the focus. Now another ray is coming from point A. And passing through the center of curvature and incident on point E. And from this point it will get reflected on the same path. Now, both of these refracted ray meet at a point and here I denote this point as A dash. So here the image of the AB is formed now the image is real image because here reflected ray both of these reflected ray meet at a point that's why this image is real image and inverted because the object is AB but the image is B dash A dash. So the image is real as well as inverted and smaller in size compared to object. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will get the notification of our all videos.